Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create this IK rig for any object you want. I will showcase this on this mech arm right here. If you have a similar object, make sure all those parts are separated. If they aren't separated in individual parts like this one at the top here, select it, go into edit mode, select the part you want to separate, press P and select the selection option. So you will separate the object into two parts by the selection you just did before. And then as you can see here, we have some individual parts that we want to add to the IK rig. Let's start out by adding an armature. This will create this little bone right here. To see the bone in between the objects, we can activate the X-ray mode and then place the bone on your first object. Make it kinda as big as the object itself. So for me, it's this object right here and the bone is this big. After that, with the bone selected, go into edit mode and select the front bubble right here. And with pressing E, you can extrude and create a new bone. Make this bone as big as your next part and then repeat the process for your whole object. This last bone right here works for the whole claw in the front. And after you have a bone for each part of your object, we need to add one last bone. This doesn't have to be that big. This will be our handle to move the whole IK rig around. For the IK rig to work, we have to disconnect the last bone from all the rest. So we select it and press Alt P and clear the parent. If we move it now around, you can see the bone isn't connected to the rest of the rig. If we would do this with another bone, you can see it's still connected to the rest. Now let's hop over into the pose mode, select the last and the second last bone of your rig. And on the pose, you can go to inverse kinematics and add the IK bone. You could also do this with shift I, then select to active bone. If you would now select the last handle right here and press G to move it around, you could see the rig is already working, but it's not connected to our objects. Therefore go into object mode, select the first part you want to add to the rig, select the bones and go into the pose mode. Now we want to add this part to the last bone, so only select the last bone right here. Then press Ctrl P so we can parent it and select the bone option. Now this object is parented to this last bone. This process we have to repeat for all the other objects too. So again, go into object mode, select the object, select the bones, go into pose mode, select the bone you want to parent the object to, press Ctrl P and select bone. I will do this now for the rest. Alright, if you are finished and are in pose mode, you can select the handle we created before and then if you press G, the IK rig is already working. But maybe you can see it already, we have some problems with the last object right here. Because I don't want this object to rotate up and down, I only want it to rotate it from left to right. Therefore, select the corresponding bone and go into the bone settings. Under the inverse kinematics, we can lock separate axes. In my case, I only wanted to rotate it in the Z axis. So I have to lock the X and Y. And as you can already see, it works perfectly. It now only moves from left to right. And you can do this with the rest of the bones too. If for example, an object or a bone looks super weird and doesn't work properly, we can select this bone to lock different axes to see if it works better. So in this case, I will lock the X and Y axis. Let's select this bone right here. You can see it tilts to the left. We don't want that. So let's lock the X or the Y axis, or maybe even the Z. So in this case, it's the Z and the Y axis. And here you just have to play around a little bit until you find the setting that works best for this bone. And all right, there you have it. If you play around a little bit with the settings and all the options, you will get yourself a clean IK rig that you can also animate. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you could learn something today. If you have some questions, just write them in the comments and I see you the next time. Peace out.